frozen Iranian assets have been transferred from South Korea to a Swiss central bank. Qatar recycles tons of FIFA World Cup promotional products. Ex-users sound the alarm over an exchange of data with an Israeli cyber company. And finally, Martez Bersham is just one jump away from securing a fourth world title. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Iranian assets that were previously frozen in South Korea have now been transferred to a central bank in Switzerland, South Korean media reported. The Swiss National Bank plans to exchange $6 billion worth of Iranian assets that were frozen due to US sanctions. This is one of the steps from a Qatari brokered agreement for a prisoner exchange between Washington and Tehran. Last week, Iran released five detained Americans on house arrest as part of the deal. Qatar's Supreme Committee confirmed a total of 173 tons of promotional items used in the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 are being recycled. The materials were previously used as wraps, banners, and fence coverings in stadiums and other venues during the tournament. In a statement, an SC official said the organization made it a priority to find a sustainable solution for the materials as part of a wider plan for an eco-friendly World Cup. Now, social media giant X, previously known as Twitter, is working on a new way to verify a user's identity. If introduced, users will be made to submit a copy of their government ID alongside a selfie. However, users have sounded the alarm after reports said the data would be stored with an Israeli identity intelligence company. Israel has long been accused by rights groups of targeting and surveilling activists, journalists, and even politicians around the world. And finally, Qatar's world champion high jumper Mu'taz Bersham has topped his qualifying group at the world championships. Bersham cleared the bar without knocking it down, jumping at a height of 2.28 meters. Now the gold falcon has set his sights on a fourth world title. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website, www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.